Hey guys, this is Jamin with Point Tech. We're bringing you a key replacement repair video today. Uh, we have here an HP Chromebook 14. We're going to show you how to salvage a key. Uh, let's say you bought another keyboard uh, in order to replace your keys. We'll show you how to salvage or take one off. And then I'll show you how to, how to put it on safely so you don't break it. Uh, in the next half of the video, I'm going to show you what the large keys look like underneath. So if you're watching this video because you're doing a larger key, uh, feel free to fast forward halfway because I'm going to do the smaller one first. So what you're going to need is a small flathead. Um, smaller the better. And what we're going to do to salvage a key is we're going to try to get this flathead underneath your key cap, which is the top part with the letter, but we're going to try to get it over the key clip retainer, which is the plastic bracket under this that holds it down. It's very fragile. And if we were to just grab this key and rip it off, you would break that, uh, that clip retainer under it. So you can't see under there, obviously, so go slow, try to just feel it out, try to get this on. Ooh, I heard some snapping, so I think I'm in. Now just pull this off. All right. See how my flathead is over the retainer? So that's good. I, I, I held down, and it actually separated a little. So this is what most retainers will look like. It'll be two little plastic pieces that bend up, and they'll have two metal clips towards the bottom corners and two metal clips towards the top corners that are holding it down. What I'm going to have to do is try to salvage this and get it out without breaking my, uh, my key clip. So let's see how this thing looks. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? All right, so on this side, I'm going to do the top. On this side up here, there are two metal brackets on the top. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to push this key out from under it. Um, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bend it down. No, I am. Yeah. So put your fingernail on the bottom and try to push up. I know there's not, not a lot of play in there, but try to get what you can. Push it up while you take your screwdriver and gently, slowly try to pry that plastic out from under that metal clip. There's not a lot of room, so go nice and slow. Oop, there we go. See? It can be just that easy sometimes. So that's what that clip looks like. As you can see, this is what I was trying not to break. You get this little plastic nub going off in that corner, and this little plastic nub in that corner. So now that I have it off, I'm going to um, install it, show you how to install it. If you buy this on eBay or whatever, you'll get them together. Just split them apart like we did initially. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, let me see here. Take this, I took these off first, so now we're going to go backwards, I'm going to put them on last. So take your bottom part first, get it underneath the, the bottom metal brackets, set it in there, and then just snap your top in place. Snap, snap. Just like that. Put your key on top, click, all better. So yeah, so if you're not salvaging it, if you bought it, it'll be really easy. But even if you're salvaging it, you can do it without breaking it. So that's how you would fix a normal key. Let me show you now what's underneath these large ones in case that's why you're watching the video. Same thing, you're going to put this under there and wedge it off, but keep in mind that instead of one key clip retainer, you're going to have two, most likely, I'm guessing. Um, so let's show you what it looks like under here, as well as some metal bars, which makes it a little unique. Snap, 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 snap. Snap, snap. All right. Alright, so yeah, so we had two clip retainers here, still one little bouncy, squishy ball thing, whatever that is. And then you're going to have some metal brackets. You see there's one here going along the top, one here going along the bottom. And then you have this weird one in the middle that a lot of computers have. I've never really figured out what this is for, but it has some use, I guess. Snap that back into place. Alright, so that's what your underneath will look like if you're replacing this. You You'll see it when you get it. Same thing, if you're taking these off, be careful. Pry them out gently. Make sure these bars are where they're supposed to be. They go into each holes on each side, and then just lay on down the side. Um, and when you go to snap this back, same thing. You just snap it back in place. These ones will look almost the same thing. They'll have one or two clip retainers. They'll have metal bars. Uh, they're all relatively the same. So that's how you would do it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to post on the bottom if you get stuck. Uh, like this video if it was helpful, and if you like do-it-yourself computer repair, uh, feel free to follow. Thanks so much for watching.